and Lisa here aka Crafting Diva thank you so much for joining me on my YouTube channel today and I wanted to jump on really quickly and film a little craft haul video for you all um, if you watch my previous videos I showed you some details of a great offer and pre-order offer um, craft stash had on the tonic heart shaped gift box I received mine so I thought I'd share that with you and also I got myself a few great little bargains on eBay so I thought I'd share those with you hope you're all doing well and you've been busy crafting away I certainly have uh, I've just finished a big commission from car making and paper craft and I'll keep you posted when that's going to be released but yeah like I say this is just a little quick look at my latest craft haul so first of all the little eBay bargains I got um, if you know anything about me I'm a huge penny black stamp and a gorgeous girl stamp fan um, and I managed to get myself these absolutely stunning penny black stamps off eBay of a lady who was destashing her collection. Penny black stamps have to be one of my all time favourite stamps. Yes they're still on the wooden blocks but I still love them. Uh, I managed to get this stunning little girl stamp that's holding the little bird house and all the lovely little flowers around her so there was that one in the collection. Then there's this lovely girl here with the gorgeous little baldwin frame around her and the basket of flowers and then also in the collection were these two lovely little stamps one with ivy heart design and a little heart topiary tree so yeah I got those off eBay they were a great price and they were brand new so I was really pleased with them then also off eBay I managed to bag myself this little bargain of a brand new gorgeous set uh, this is the owl design and as you can see it features this lovely frame and the little girl and the little really cute little owl so I got that one there and I also managed to get this design here and this design is called the Hatter and I thought this would be great for Valentine's Day cards because that's coming up soon so I got that design there as well they all come from eBay and like I said uh, I've got a few items from Craft Stash I'll put links in the description box below to some of the items if there's anything you'd be interested in buying yourself but first of all I've got from Tonic uh, this is their word die sentiment dies I got the celebrate die and this is great because you get the actual word die and then the matte and layer die for your background so I've got that one there that's celebrate and I also got their for you one and as you can see they're lovely size nice thin nice stylish uh, text to the writing and again you've got the back ground die as well so I got that then I also got myself a brand new memento ink pad I like to get a new one once a year so I've got nice dark black ink for when I'm stamping then also on craft stash they've started to stock the novo um, crystal drops but they're doing a mixture of the best selling crystal drops and the normal drops in larger size bottles these are called the grande bottles so I thought I'd get myself one of the larger bottles and I've got this one in the um, morning dew because I like to use this to put little dots onto flowers so it looks like little morning dew on the flowers so I've got myself that as well and like I said to you, um, Craft Stash had the tonic heart gift box die set for pre-order so I snapped mine up before they all sold out because they sold pretty quick when they was on her chanda. Uh, mine arrived the other day and as you can see the actual die set is jam packed with dies. You've got your actual big dies to make your gift box here this one and this one and then inside you get all your layering dies to build your box up to make it look really pretty uh, I had a little play with this the other day and I'm really pleased with it it cuts out lovely and yeah just really fun to make really nice cute little heart shaped box and then you get the little rows and you get so many little dies that you can build your box up so that was one little design I made and then I went for a purple themed de design and as you can see it's such a sweet little box I haven't attempted the big large box yet but that will be my next project and if you're interested at all on a little tutorial how to put the boxes together leave me a message in the comments below and I'll see if I can film that for the next video for you all um, so I hope you enjoyed having a little look at the little craft stash that I've just received some nice new items for me to play with and just a quick question for you all I've got a huge collection of handmade cards that 
I've made over the months and years and I wondered if any of you might be interested in buying any if I did a de-stash handmade card uh, video if any of you'd be interested in them so if you can leave me a comment in the comments box if this is the type of thing you might be interested in also if you'd like a tutorial on how to make the little heart box let me know and yeah I'd love to read any of your comments thanks for watching this video and don't forget to have a look in the description box and I'll try and put as many links as I can to the Tonic Studio products the Novo products from Craft Stash if you'd like to buy any of them hope to see you all again soon and bye for now